All right, let's have number 13. What is the pressure in kilopascal at the base of, con of a container filled with one meter deep water inside an elevator that is accelerating upward at a rate of two meters per square seconds? So let's say to yung elevator natin with water. The height of water is one meter. So it will raise pa at a rate of two meters per second. Yan. So there is an acceleration. So yung tinatanong is the pressure at the base. Yan. While the pressure at the base, kung hindi yan nag-move yung elevator natin, it is static pressure. Gamma times height only. But since nag-move yan, so meron tayong reverse effective force and that will add to this pressure. That's why our formula for a, for a moving vessel in a straight line, I mean vertical motion, gamma height, then meron tayong multiplier. Yan yung para sa karagdagang pressure caused by the reverse effective force. Uh, dapat natin itong tandaan, for upward motion, positive yung gagamitin natin. Kasi madadagdagan yan. Kung downward motion naman, then negative yung gagamitin natin. That is for that um, sign. Sa acceleration naman, if the term is acceleration, positive siya. But if the term is deceleration, yung A natin is negative. Okay? So with that known, since it is moving upward and acceleration yung term na ginamit, so gamma times height of water, first gamma water tayo, so plus lahat. Moving upward, kaya positive. Acceleration yung term, so positive din siya. So answer is 11.81 kilopascal. Okay? Ah, ito na lang tandaan natin no? para hindi na masyadong mahirap. Pwede rin nating idaan dito sa reverse effective force. Actually, dito yan madederive eh. Ito siya madederive dito. Again, na-mention ko kanina, meron yung pressure, static pressure. Assuming hindi pa nag-move yung ating object. So, gamma height. Then, alright, so yung pressure naman na idadagdag ng ating reverse effective force, that will be the REF force divided by the area at the base. The force over area then. And the force is mass times acceleration, concept of reverse effective force over area. Where mass, we know mass is density times volume. And the volume here, if cross-sectional area is constant, that is area times the height. So of course, volume ng water tayo. So, dito yan. Now, kung i-substitute natin directly, gamma height, yung mass natin is rho. Of course, rho ng water is 1,000 kg per cubic meter. So, yan, ha? Ito yung total mass. Rho area, cross-sectional area to base, ties height na 1 meters. Acceleration is 2 meters per square second. Yung area natin is ito. Magka-cancel yung area. Nag-divide lang ako ng 1,000 kasi ito siya is nakakilinewtons per cubic meters. I mean, nakakilinewtons per square meters. Kilopascal. Ito, ito kasi, um, magiging newtons per square meters to. 1,000 kg per cubic meter. Uh, take note, mass times acceleration is a, a unit newtons. Uh, magiging newtons yan. Divided by area, uh, meter squared. So, magiging newton per square meters pa to. So, dinivide natin ng 1,000 para maging kili newtons. So, again, the area will just cancel out. Your resulting value will be the same. So, para hindi malito, just remember this assigned convention. Ito kasi, uh, concept talaga. Da? Kailan magiging ganito yung reverse effective force? Paliktad yan parati sa uh, motion. No, it is always opposite to the motion. Kaya tinawag na reverse effective force. Okay? That is number 13. Let's have number 14. A closed cylindrical tank, 1 meter in diameter, and completely filled with water. Tingnan na lang natin yung side view. Diameter is 1 meter. 
filled with water. So, puno. Completely filled with water. Rotated about its vertical axis. So, ito yan. Rotation. At 120 RPM. Compute the increase in pressure at the rim of the tank. So, increase of pressure. So, pag nirotate natin yan, then completely filled with water siya, or walang air. So, meron tayong imaginary paraboloid sa taas dyan. Ganito. Okay, of course, yung vertex natin magsa-start talaga dito because walang hangin. Na wala siyang hangin. Magsa-start tayo dito. So, eto, tawagin natin Y. That's the height of paraboloid. So, yung uh, increase in pressure, it is only gamma height. Gamma times the increase in imaginary height. Ganon siya. So, we, we only need the value of Y. And madali yan using the formula. Okay? At any value of X in the paraboloid, makukuha natin yung corresponding Y. At that is a function of omega. Yung omega natin, RPM pa siya, revolution per minute. Convert natin to radians per second. Ito yung conversion factor. And every 2 pi radians, we have 1 revolution. So that will cancel. Yung minutes natin convert to seconds. And every 1 minute, 60 seconds. So automatic, i-multiply mo lang dyan is pi over 30. Converting RPM to radians per second. 2 over 60 is 1 over 30 kasi. So, magiging pi over 30 yan. Ito yung lalabas na yun. At ito yung kailangan natin for this formula. Okay? Omega, 12.566. Um, yung x natin is the radius. And that's half of 1 meters. Or 1 meter. So, 0 0.5. 2 times gravity. The resulting value is this one. We want the change in pressure, increase in pressure at the rim. Can be here or it can be here. It doesn't matter. Basta meron tayong dinagdag na imaginary height. So, gamma height lang yan. Gamma for water and the change in height or additional height is the value of Y. 2.012. So, the answer is 19.74 kilopascal. Okay. Number 15. At ito naman tayo. An open cylindrical tank, 1.3 meters in diameter, and 2.1 meters high, is uh, two-thirds full of water. So, merong tubig, pero two-thirds lang sa sa height. Two-thirds of 2.1, yung kanyang depth of water. Okay? So, makukuha natin, tawagin ko siyang D. So, that is 2.1 minus 2 thirds of 2.1. Or simply 1 thirds of 2.1. That's 0 0.7. So, the tank is rotated at 87 revolutions per minute about its vertical axis. So, papaikutin natin dito. So, by the way, the radius of the tank is half of that. That is 0 0.65. So, in still... Um, Motion, I mean, uh, kung wala pang motion, ito pa siya. Kung papaikutin natin siya, paikutin natin siya at an amount of 87 revolutions per minute. So, tanong pala dito, obtain the volume of liters. I mean, the volume in liters of water spilled. Pag papaikutin natin siya, meron siyang spillage. Actually, we need to check that one pa, no? But based on the problem, sigurado tayong may spill talaga kasi yan yung hinahanap. Okay? Unless kung may choices dyan na zero, pwede yung wala palang spillage. Pero walang choice na zero kaya sigurado may spill ito. So, assuming yung vertex ng ating paraboloid hindi nag-touch or hindi lumagpas sa ating uh, tank. Pwede kasi yung case dyan, lumagpas siya. I-assume muna natin. We can check on that by calculating the value of y. The same kanina. Kunin muna natin yung converted value ng 87 revolutions per minute. So, simply multiply that one by pi over 180. Pinakita ko lang yung conversion para alam nyo, no? I'm assuming na yung uh, nanonood dito ngayon, 
um, back to basic no? sa ginagawa kong presentation. So ngayon, makukuha natin yung y. Like what we did kanina. Yung x natin is the radius. Omega is ito. Force G is gravity. So 1.788 meters. The height of tank is 2.1 meters. Mas maliit siya. So ito talaga yung magiging case. Alright? So wala ka nang, hindi na pwedeng lumagpas yung ating paraboloid sa taas ha? Kasi open vessel yan. Unlike kanina, no? lumagpas siya imaginarily. Pero dito hindi pwede. Up to dito lang talaga. Kasi magsispill na yan. No? Lalabas na talaga siya. Unlike sa previous problem, close tayo. Kaya uh, meron siyang imaginary uh, height. Now, yung way ng pag-check dito kung may spillage ba talaga is to determine or to compare this one sa y over 2. Ito. 1.788 over 2 is 0.894. Yung D natin is only 0.7. Mas malaki siya sa D. The height of air. Okay? Then, ano yung magiging uh, ano dyan? conclusion? Pag mas malaki yung Y over 2 sa D, may water spillage talaga. No? Parati yan ganun. May water spillage. In this situation, ha? hindi siya lumagpas dito. Hindi siya lumagpas yung ating um, tawag dito. Vertex. Now, bakit ganun, sir? Kung ito yung Y natin, Ito naman yung y over 2, the water line, y over 2. Mas mababa siya dito. Yung d natin is only 0.7, yung y over 2 is 0 0.894. Mas mababa yung level niya. Ito. Ito kasing level na yan, that is the water level, final, na after natin sa pinaikot. Alimbawa, um, stop natin yung pag-ikot. Ito na yung final, final water level. This is the y over 2. So, itong difference ng water na yan, ito yung spill. No? In this condition, that is the water spill. And kung tingnan natin yan sa 3D, it is just a cylinder with a diameter D and thickness, thickness nito is y over 2 minus D. That is y over 2 minus D. This Solution is applicable only for this situation. Basta hindi lang siya lumagpas dito. And merong spillage. So, we can define that water spillage. Again, yung part yan. That is simply a cylinder, no? So, base area or a prism times the height. For the base area with diameter 1.3, pi over 4 times 1.3 squared. The change in height or yung, or yung thickness is y over 2 minus d. Okay, ito yung thickness natin. Where y over 2 is 0 0.894 minus d na 0 0.7. So, kuha natin yung volume of spill in cubic meters. In liters, multiply that one by 1,000. Again, this solution is applicable only if hindi yan lumagpas sa ating Ano? Uh, base. Mas general ito. Pwede, kunin natin yung volume of air initial. Halimbawa lang ha, lalagpas ito. Mas mahaba yung Y natin dito. Halimbawa, lalagpas siya. Kunin mo yung volume of air initial and vo volume of air final. Yung volume of air final dito is this paraboloid. Dito naman, cylinder lang siya. Initially. No? So, other solution, mas general to kung lumagpas na yan. That is, volume of air, final. Of course, mas marami yung air dito. Minus, by the way, this volume of air in that condition is a paraboloid. Ito yung formula ng volume of para paraboloid. Pi r squared uh, over 2 times the depth of the paraboloid y. Okay? Minus final pa tatanggalin natin yung final. So, yan yung nawalang tubig. Mag-spill. Halimbawa, kung lumagpas yan, lumagpas talaga yan, then yung vo volume of air final natin, ito lang. Tatanggalin mo yan. Hindi yan included. 
no? that will require an SPP. A different story niya. So volume of spill is again the final year that one is the paraboloid. Pi times the radius is 0 0.6, 0 0.65 squared over 2. Yung y, y ng paraboloid is 1.788. Then minus the air initial. Yung initial air natin is just a cylinder. So pi over 4 times the diameter squared. The height, of course, yung height nito. This is 0 0.7. The same results, 275.5 liters. So that is um, 275, that would be 273, no? Nag-round off lang ata tayo. Nag-round off tayo. Ano, 257 pala. Sorry, 257.70, uh, 257.5. Nabaliktad ko pala, no? Two, 0 0.257. Let me correct lang this one. Nabaliktad ko pala yung numbers. Ganun talaga. Tayo yung tao lang. Change ko lang para tama yung notes niya. 257.5 Letter B yung correct answer dito. Two five seven. 